discussion on carpentia nomenclature of mitral leaflet scallops carpentia nomenclature of mitral leaflet scallops is important in assessing the mitral leaflets while planning mitral wall repair the scallops can be identified well by transesophageal echocardiography preferably in three dimensional mode please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Two indentations in the posterior leaflet divides it into three independently mobile scallops named P1, P2 and P3. Anterior leaflet is non-indented but has been divided into three corresponding virtual subdivisions known as A1, A2 and A3. Normal mitral valve in parasternal short axis view. RV right ventricle, IVS interventricular septum, AML anterior mitral leaflet, PML posterior mitral leaflet, LVPWO left ventricular posterior wall. Two indentations and three scallops of posterior mitral leaflet are seen. Posterior leaflet has a quadrangular shape while the anterior leaflet has semicircular shape. These can be visualized well by a magnified three dimensional echocardiographic image. Systolic billowing of the mitral leaflets into the left atrium is rather uniform with an exception of P1 and P2 region. P1 has a single focus of regional heterogeneity in the curvature while P2 has two large foci of heterogeneity in curvature. This may be the reason why these two segments that is P1 and P2 have a higher propensity for prolapse and becoming flail. Professor Alain Carpentier was one of the pioneers in mitral wall repair who introduced the nomenclature of mitral scallops. Here are some relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.